I'm Karina, welcome to my kitchen. Today we are making homemade blinis from scratch and we're gonna to be topping them with Danish caviar, also known as lumpfish roe. In Danish, that's steenbilleron. Lumpfish roe is a seasonal treat that we get in Denmark around early February to April. So you really want to enjoy it while it's possible. Okay, let's get started. First, you'll need 200 grams of whole milk. Put that into a pan and heat it gently. You'll want to get it to a stage where it's lukewarm. You can check with your little finger that it isn't too hot. If it's too hot, it will destroy the yeast in your blinis. Sift 175 grams of flour into a bowl. Add 60 grams of buckwheat flour. Two grams of salt, 12 grams of dry active yeast. Give it all a little mix. Oh yes, here is my little friend. I feel like he needs a name. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. He's very handy for helping me separate egg yolks and egg whites. Separate two egg yolks from the two egg whites and put the egg whites aside. Add the two egg yolks to a bowl. Add 180 grams of creme fraiche. And your lukewarm milk. Give it a good whisk. Make sure it's all mixed together. There's no creme fresh lumps. And add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. Give that a good whisk. Make sure there are no lumps. You should end up with a batter that's nice and smooth. Leave your mixture to rise for one hour in the fridge. Back to your two egg whites. Let's get those whisked into stiff peaks. Now the ultimate test is of course, if you can hold the bowl over your head after they've been whisked. If they are at the correct consistency, you shouldn't have any egg on your head. Take a little of the egg whites and fold gently into the batter. Incorporating a little bit of it first will help make mixing in the rest easier. Once again, put your mixture in the fridge and leave for one hour. Heat up a pan on medium heat, melt some butter in it. Add small teaspoons or tablespoons of batter to your pan. 
Blinis are small, so don't make these normal pancake size. They are meant to be tiny. In fact, I made mine too big. I was using a tablespoon, so I can certainly recommend that you use a teaspoon instead. Once you see the bubbles, you're ready to flip. And after that, we're ready to assemble. My family graciously agreed to be hand models. And here is how you assemble your blini with Danish caviar. We've got some creme fraiche. On top of that, you put the lumpfish roe. Add a bit of red onion, finely chopped, as finely as possible. And you can also add some dill, some salt, some pepper. And when your blini with Danish caviar is seasoned to your liking, all there's left to do is enjoy. I hope you try this out. Thank you for watching in Karina's Kitchen. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe, like, leave me a comment down below, and see you next time.